Well, well, it's not only CNN in hot water. Now it's the turn of the BBC after publication of their salary list. It turns out they're paying some of their on-screen talent about four times the salary of the Prime Minister. But that's only the male on-screen talent. The females get to wash the dishes in the canteen and might be allowed to keep enough in tips to pay their bus fare home at the end of a long night reading the news. The newspapers, like the Mail and the Express, who got the story, are outraged. Or are they? No, of course they aren't. This is a scandal manufactured by papers like the Daily Mail and the Daily Express, who don't give a tuppenny toss about what the BBC pay people, and it wouldn't surprise me if their own salary scales don't stand up to scrutiny. But what they do care about is the way the BBC and its political arm, the Guardian newspaper, constantly put down popular papers like the Mail and the Express and define the readers of these tabloids as racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, phobic, you name it, uh, to quote rather badly, some politician who had a shot at the United States presidency but blew it by putting down the sort of people she thought spent their time watching televised MMA. The BBC maintains its cosy association with the people of the right type by advertising available jobs exclusively in The Guardian. So, of course, only Guardian readers apply, or at least the ones who are prepared to pretend they're Guardian readers, which amounts to the same thing. And with no one to contradict them, in this way, the BBC remain absolutely riddled with all the faults they find in others. I know what I'm talking about because I've worked for the BBC and a more snobbish bunch of sexist anti-Semites I couldn't have wished to meet I've been at the sharp end of both. And while they would be horrified to be called Islamophobic, their constant infantilization of Muslims speaks volumes. From the foregoing, you might have got the impression that I don't like the BBC very much. Actually, that's not true. My irritation with Auntie Beeb isn't because she's bad, it's because she's disappointed me. The BBC is a public corporation which is funded by a sort of annual tax on TV sets, which gives it a guaranteed income. That protected revenue means that the BBC is liberated both from the demands of advertisers and the whims of government. It's a great idea and at its best it works brilliantly. The BBC could be a shining star loved by all, but they have this problem. They're not only liberated from commercial interference, they're also liberated from any sense of responsibility to their audience, or indeed from any sense of responsibility over budgeting. And like other trustafarians, they've got into the habit of despising money while they spend it in bundles and despising the solid working people who are footing the bills for being unimaginative workhorses. Secure in their livelihood, they can afford to be just about as left as the sandwiches the waitress sneezed over last night and secure in their echo chamber, they truly believe they are better than anyone else. Much better. And don't you forget that, you plebs.